Okay, so we are gonna be removing our seat belt on the driver's side with the pretensioner to get it replaced. Now, you'll see here I have it partially taken apart here. I'm gonna show you over here on the passenger side. Everything looks identical to the driver's side, just to give you a reference point for what everything looks like. So what we're gonna do here first is focus on taking off all of our covers, anything plastic in the way that's blocking any sort of connection, a bolt, um, and then we will get into the part where we take off all the bolts and fasteners and everything. But first things first, you're going to want to take off your connections here. So I pushed the seat all the way forward. And again, you want to disconnect your battery when you're playing with anything like this. It has electric running to it. You'll see the seatbelt has some connections down there that run to it. So you're going to want to disconnect your battery. My battery is disconnected. And I'm doing this without taking the seat out. Some people like to take the seat out if you wanted to do that. Obviously, you have some bolts here under these covers here that aren't too hard to take the seat out right there if you wanted to do that. But I do feel like if you slide the seat all the way up like I did here, you have access to everything you need here. First thing I did here, and we'll just go in the order that I did it here, is I actually took this screw out right here. If you look here, and all the tools you're really going to need here for this part, probably a Phillips head screwdriver for this screw here. That just comes right out. That bolts behind the door here as a connection. You're just going to remove that. Pretty simple. And probably, you know, find yourself a flathead screwdriver. It did help me kind of remove some of these clips and different things like that. The next thing I did here, you know, you're going to be operating on both the passenger and driver side, or sorry, the rear door and the driver door. So you are going to want to have access to both sides of the door here. So what I did is I kind of removed different things that were in my way. Went ahead and took that plastic panel off because you'll see here it does kind of come underneath it. And move the floorboard out of the way a little bit and you have everything there. So once you have this screw removed, it's relatively simple. We'll go ahead and peel this off here. But if you look and see, you have some clips on this side. You can see I have a clip here that's actually broken here. Um, but you have some clips here that hold this in and so you just want to pull back and remove these clips here there's nothing else mechanical holding this in other than these clips and if you look it goes underneath this part here and it does help here because it's going to be pressed against as you can see back over here on your passenger side it is going to be pressed against this weather stripping right here so it does help it doesn't hurt anything but you just peel this weather stripping back right here you'll see the door frame the metal car there you can peel this door frame um, whether stripping off the door frame and get that out of your way there and that'll peel down the side here and then you'll see this goes underneath this clips underneath here on the back and you'll see it again here I can come around and show you again on the front here you can see where it clips in there um, on the front you'll see it goes underneath this so you can lift this up here I didn't mess with the driver um, weather stripping too much because um, I was actually accessing most everything from the back here. So you can take everything off the back here. And once you peel these clips off again, the clips kind of reach around and they kind of grab. So you just want to pop these clips off. And then once you can get, you just take one side out and then it'll make this side up there a little bit easier to have release for you. And again, there's nothing mechanical holding this in at this point. And so you're just going to get this entire piece right here, comes right off. That one Phillips head screw is the only thing that was holding it in. And you can set that aside. Next, you're going to want to come up here and work on this part. Again, I have the seatbelt kind of behind it a little bit there already. Your seatbelt will look like this. So you're going to have to get this again. There is nothing on this 2011 Honda CRV that is holding, um, mechanically holding this plastic piece in. There's no screws or anything like that. You'll see here, you have this one clip right here that went into this hole right here. And so what you can do is you move your seatbelt out of the way and you can actually pinch on both sides there and you can re release this a little bit. And you'll see here on the other side here, you have a clip here and there's one more clip up here. And those just clipped and hung on to the side um, of the frame there as well. So once you get that off, you are going to have to, it's this is probably the most difficult part here, is maneuver this piece around one side and around the other of the actual feeder of the seatbelt here. And you'll see up top here, I'll pull it down here, but it does actually have these two little pieces right here that are kind of hooked up to the ceiling a little bit here and this wire hanging down. But, you know, nothing too complicated up there. It's just up in those little holes right there. So it slides straight down and you get it down 
and that's going to reveal your two bolts there and you have another bolt there as you know this slides up and down and you can gain access to the top bolt slides up gives you access to the bottom bolt which we'll remove in a minute the last plastic cover you're going to want to remove is again on the driver's seat actually it's going to be your last bolt here mine's already off as you can see here but it's going to be this cover right here it's going to connect like this you know it'll be covered like this very simple couple clips nothing very particular here nothing mechanically holding it in so a screwdriver or your hands you can easily peel this off here and it reveals this bolt right here which we'll take off in a minute so that part ends part one and that's how you take off all the plastic covers and we'll move into part two next uh, one mistake i did make after part one there was um, talking about these two bolts here um, you're actually not even going to take these two bolts off you need to remove this cover which i show in part two which i'll show this bolt right here you remove this bolt which drops this down you can leave this whole assembly up actually um, wouldn't hurt necessarily to take this entire assembly off and then you're still going to be left having to take this bolt off so overall it doesn't matter but to make life simple you can just pull this cover off you know it goes on okay here we are back for part number two here i want to start off with one cover i forgot to mention here on part one was that you want to remove this cover here as well to expose this bolt holding this clip on um it's very simple you pinch these two little side pieces that you would pinch to slide this up and down with you pinch these you see it right here and it literally just pulls straight off like that you got a couple little clips right here and down on the side here but you just pinch those lift up a little bit and you peel it off revealing that final bolt right there that you're going to want to remove so the only things tools wide you're really going to need here again it couldn't hurt to ever have a flathead screwdriver but uh, your socket wrench here i have a 14 millimeter socket and this socket right here is going to be 14 millimeters here you'll see to remove that one and then i have a 10 millimeter socket and that's going to be for behind the belt here this socket right here is going to fit on there for 10 millimeters there and up here this one again 14 millimeter and then the one up here on the front on the driver here on the bolt there is also going to be 14 millimeter socket so you only need two sockets a wrench on uh, the flathead couldn't help first things i did here you're going to want to remove this here and again just like on the front belt tensioner here you have these yellow plugs here very simple to remove you just slide that black piece up and that comes out and this is a single stage so you see i only have that one connection here for that after you do that i've loosened these to make the video easier but you're going to want to remove this bolt here that's 14 millimeters and then you have your 10 millimeter here which i think i have it loose enough to do with my hand but this is your 10 millimeter socket and that's going to release the entire belt uh, the pre-tensioner and everything here you can see i've got some issues here with my belt here so that's going to release everything there you disconnected that and that's going to be free the next part we'll go ahead and release is this one bolt up here again i got a little loose here for the sake of the video but that's going to remove that bolt there and you got that right there and it's hard with one hand but that's going to let you drop down your seat here i've, I've got this cover just kind of upholding things but as you can see there that just fell but that'll release your clip here and you're down there with the belt and the last part you need to release here you take your socket come to the driver's seat here your connection you're going to want to release this 14 millimeter bolt here okay and you see it comes right out right there one bolt here you can see that that bolt you know this little metal piece here clips into that hole right there and the bolt connects there when you replace it there and you can throw everything back in the back and you'll see after you remove the simple four bolts and your one yellow connection there you have your entire seat belt pre-tensioner you know i recommend obviously um, replace these bolts and the holes that they go to you don't need to send those in i imagine 
Um, but you have everything you need there to send in. I'm sending this in along with my front buckle pretensioner I removed in another video. I'm going to send both of those in and get those repaired. Very simple. Again, this is a 2011 Honda CRV. Um, very quick. Probably would have taken me 15 minutes if I wasn't recording and trying to do it the best I could there. Um, really doesn't take much. I didn't have to remove the seat. You know, I have very minimal tools, screwdriver, socket. I have a socket sent. I have the drill there. It was a little easier to remove this Phillips head screwdriver that was attached up there with the drill just because of how tight it was. But you could do it with a screwdriver as well. And I hope that helps anybody trying to remove your seat belts pretensioners. Hopefully that's helpful.